This is Jim Rods, your old man outdoors. And today we're talking about the Foothills Trail. Long hikes in 2020 are looking less and less likely with each passing week, but there is still some hope that we'll be able to get out and take some shorter backpacking trips yet this year. I was lucky enough to get out and hike the Foothills Trail back in February and early March, and I think it'll be a great option once things get a little more back to normal. The Foothills Trail runs 77 miles from Oconee State Park to Table Rock State Park, both in South Carolina. The path meanders through, surprisingly enough, foothills of the Southern Appalachians and through Sumter National Forest, Nantahala National Forest, and gorgeous State Park in North Carolina. While the hills aren't as high as some of the Appalachian Mountains, they are often just as steep. The elevations encountered run from just over a thousand feet to the highest point in South Carolina. That highest point would be Sassafras Mountain at an elevation of 3,553 feet. The Foothills Trail is a great hike for a number of reasons. The Southern Appalachians are scenic with plenty of waterfalls and some great views. In many regards, much of the hiking is reminiscent of the Southern Appalachian Trail. In fact, this shorter hike can very much be a great test hike and let you see what the challenges are to through hike the AT. My hike took me five days to complete, hiking again in late February and early March. Just because the trail is not as high as the AT, don't let the lower elevations fool you. This trail is not easy. At one point, Heartbreak Hill was climbing at a rate of over 1,600 feet per mile. For me, the real heartbreak was giving all that climb back over the next half mile, then doing it all over again. Of course, that is some great training for the PUDs, pointless up and downs, that are on the AT. The footpath itself is well constructed and well maintained with white blazes. The occasional flattish stretches are a joy to walk but there's no getting around the power of gravity on those hills. Like much of the Southern AT, water is plentiful. There are numerous creeks, streams, and lakes along the trail. There's even some impressive waterfalls for selfies, if you're into that sort of thing. Even though I was hiking in the spring now, I was able to rock hop any creek that wasn't already bridged. In several locations, there was a sump constructed to provide water, even if the creek itself was dry. As always, filter any water you find along a trail before you drink it. Being in the south, the Foothills Trail was hikeable in late fall, early spring, and if you watch the weather, even through the winter, perfect for that last minute hike. Snow is rare and typically doesn't last. Even at the top of Mount Sassafras, less than nine inches of snow falls in a typical winter. On the other hand, summer hiking can be just a festival of humidity and insects. There are numerous spots to camp along the trail, many designed and built as Eagle Scout projects. Nearly all have flat spots for tents, a fire ring, and a nearby water source. Quite a few have benches, and provisions to bear bag your food. Along Lake Jokazi, gorgeous state park maintains campsites with sand tent pads, grills, and picnic tables. Within the National Forest, camping is permitted throughout, and there were no fees at all at any of the locations that I camped. At least when I went, the Foothills Trail was not crowded with campers. I camped alone at three of the four locations and actually went two full days without seeing another hiker. The trail can be hiked in either direction, though starting at Oconee State Park puts off the biggest and steepest hills until your food bag has lost much of its weight. Start your research at foothillstrail.org. It has information on shuttles, they sell a map and a guide. 
at seven ounces. The guidebook is a tad heavy, but it does include maps and turn-by-turn -turn directions. All in all, the Foothills Trail is a scenic yet challenging hike that can be completed in under a week. If you want more of my take on backpacking throughout America, be sure and hit the subscribe button. Take care and keep hiking.